In the wastewater treatment process, so-called sludge is formed representing the residue after the clean water has been separated. The nature of the sludge depends on the wastewater treatment type. However, it can be said that in general the sludge contains significant quantities of water, often more than 96%. This makes its handling difficult and costly. A reduction in the water quantities contained in the sludge directly at the wastewater treatment plant, i.e. sludge dewatering, offers a suitable solution. At present there are numerous dewatering processes on the market, but they mostly represent the equipment types suitable by their capacity and thus their acquisition price for larger plants. AS Dehydrator, the equipment offered by our company, is suitable for wastewater treatment plants with the capacity starting as low as at several hundreds of the population equivalent. The sludge dewatering process, which is the core of the AS Dehydrator, features automatic operations with low operating costs. Dehydration functions. Sludge is pumped into the dehydrator inlet tank and from there it flows over a triangular overflow discharge into the flocculation tank. Sludge quantities exceeding the equipment capacity are returned through the safety overflow. The flocculation tank is stirred with a low speed paddle mixer and a polymeric flocculant is dosed into the incoming sludge. The flocculant solution is prepared directly at the wastewater treatment plant by mixing the concentrated reagent with water in an independent tank. It is then dosed in sufficient quantities by a dosing pump. The reaction of the flocculant with the sludge causes clearly defined flakes to be formed in the dehydrator flocculation tank and subsequently brought into the dewatering drum. The drum consists of a spiral conveyor enclosed in a tube in which there are alternate fixed and moving baffles. The spiral rotation moves the sludge to a thrust plate. At the same time, the water stream squeezed out of the sludge flows away between the baffles. The filtrate, i.e. the water squeezed out of the sludge, is brought back to the wastewater treatment process while the dewatered sludge falls out at the drum end hopper and its dry matter is usually 20% as a solid mass. The dewatered sludge is then usually placed into a container and it can be used, for instance, in composting plants. It is necessary to consider that the increase in the dry matter content from 4% to 20% represents some five-fold decrease in the sludge volume, which results in a considerable reduction of transport and disposal costs. The AS Dehydrator is able to cope not only with biological treatment sludge, but it can also be used for dewatering of flotation sludge types, chemical sludge, drinking water purification sludge, etc. However, in order to verify that the dehydrator functions with other sludge types, it is always advisable to run a pilot test. ASIO offers to run such a test for you with the use of its mobile plant. The dehydrator, mounted on a trailer together with other parts of the sludge end equipment and fitted with interconnecting hoses, is capable of being transported directly into your plant. After this, it is only necessary to connect water and power, prepare the flocculant solution and test the dehydrator with your sludge type. <laughs>